Hi everyone, in previous videos you've seen me using the TP4056 to make battery powered projects where we have a lithium battery connected to its terminal and then we can use the output to power electronics and devices where the battery will be protected. And in this video I want, I want to show you this new board that I come across. You can see that it's quite similar but it also features a variable uh, output voltage so basically it's stepping up the battery voltage to whatever level that we require in our projects this video is sponsored by pcb way i use the services of pcb way to make prototypes for my projects and their awesome built pcbs are becoming the standard in most of my builds pcb way also provides services for 3d printing cnc machining metal sheet fabrication as well as injection molding. So, no matter if you are building a one-off part or setting up a production line for your project, PCB Way can help you out with any of your needs. Visit them on the link below and use the provided 10% discount on all of their fabrication services and also get a $5 discount for your first order. So, at first glance, once I first saw this module on AliExpress, I was really happy about it because previously when I was using the TP4056, I had to resort to using step up modules like this where I would then uh, step up the voltage from the battery to the required five volts uh, for the project. And with this board here, we have that step up module built in. So I was really hoping that this board can be used to uh, replace the two boards that I was previously using with just a single board in one package. However, you're probably realizing that this is not an ideal solution yet, but let's see how this thing works. I have one here set up on a breadboard. Uh, let's power it up and we'll see how uh, the module works. And here is the setup that we have. I have a lithium ion battery connected to the battery terminals on the board and I'm connecting my multimeter to the output. As you can see, currently it's set to 5.1 volts, which would be the typical voltage that we use with uh, five volt powered projects. And all of that seems to work fine. If we adjust this potentiometer here, we can control the output voltage. As we go up, you can see that the voltage can go really high up all the way to 27, 28 volts, which should be more than enough uh, for powering projects. Keep in mind that there is not a lot of current that we can draw with this module. Uh, the charging is limited to about one amp and the chip that controls the output, which is the B628. Uh, it's data sheet says that it uh, can provide up to two amp, but that would mean that we'll need to draw a lot more from the current. So it's typical to use this module with instances where we are requiring like just under an amp or something like that for for our project okay i have it back to five volts and really important here to know is that this voltage can be dependent on the screwdriver that you use for this one, I used an isolated screwdriver, but if I use a metal screwdriver, that might affect the voltage. And that is also dependent on, on the module. Let me connect another one and I'll show you what I mean. So here I have a different module that is currently powered from my lab bench power supply, which is set at 3.8 volts. And we have 5.1 on the output, but as soon as I touch the potentiometer with uh, my screwdriver, you can see that the voltage jumps up to 12 volts. So keep that in mind when you want to adjust the voltage uh, on the module and make sure that you also adjust the voltage before you connect it to any other electronic because that might fry up your circuit. So let's try and bring this up to 12 volts. And you can see as soon as I release it, even though this is a isolated screwdriver, you see that uh, it jumps back down. So I'll raise it a bit. So once I release it, we have a steady 12 volts. Okay, that's a bit 
too much. Okay, that should do it. Let's try and, and as you can see, even just by touching the potentiometer with my finger, I can raise the voltage and lower it. So basically make sure that you adjust it properly before using this board. For this one last demonstration of the circuit, I want to show you uh, what's the biggest problem with this board is, and that might be uh, like a turning point for me where I might not use this uh, circuit in uh, sensitive projects where I need to have them unattended because currently I have it set so it outputs 5.1 volts and it's running from 3.8 volts from the power supply. I'm going to start to lower the voltage on the power supply in hope that this will cut down the output once it reaches um, I don't know, 2.5 volts, but unfortunately, if we compare this to the regular TP4056, we'll see that we're missing the protection section of the circuit. So basically this MOSFET and the control chip for the cutoff are missing and I can go down to like dangerous lithium battery voltages, like 2.1 volts. 2 volts and the output is still uh, 5 volts, it's even gone up a bit. So once we start to go down then 2 volts, then it will cut off. So the step up circuit no longer works, but the battery output is still connected to the output. And if you have a load that would drain the lithium cell be below uh, what's meant to be uh, discharged and that would usually tip, uh, permanently damage the battery. So be careful when using these boards. They seem like a good choice when you uh, want to build battery uh, projects, but they are lacking a crucial uh, safety component when working with lithium batteries. So whenever the battery is discharged, it will not be turned off from the output. So the output will always be powered. Compared to this one, the TP4056, once it reaches 2.5 volts, the output will be terminated. So the step-up circuit that we usually connect externally will not work. So something like this, that will not work and the output will be off until you charge the battery. So I hope that this gave you a little bit overview in this board. At the beginning, I was really happy that this could replace the two modules that I'm using separately. Unfortunately, that's not the case. As you can see, this is too dangerous. And I'll probably still use these boards, but only in situations where I know that the battery will never be left to be fully discharged or uh, probably we will need to decide and maybe build some circuit that will alert us when the battery is um, in a low voltage state so we can quickly charge it. I hope that you like this video. It's a fairly quick one. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding the modules or the whole setup. And because you watched till the end, I'm sure that you're going to like this video as well. So check it out.